the ultimate endurance bike. Today is new bike day. Today is my favorite day, new bike day. This is the Farah Old Road in shiny Fior Green, my new bike for the season. In this video, I will talk you through the bike, the build, the specs, and of course the weight, so stay tuned. Farah is a relatively young, innovative brand from Norway. I first came across them when I saw a press article about their integrated bike packing bags, so I had to check out this bike. This is the Farah All Road, their endurance model, in line with other endurance models, like for example, the Trek Domain. This season, my focus is on demanding road and mixed terrain races and some gravel. That's why I was looking for a bike that was light, fast, and also allows you to carry a lot of kit. That's why this bike with the integrated back, the fork mounts, and also the down tube mounts is ideal. In the past, and those of you who watch my bike fit video, know the struggles I have to find a bike that fits me because of my short torso and long legs. The characteristics of this bike allow me to go for a size 53 instead of a 51 like my previous gravel bike. So I don't need to run a tower of spacers and I can have a normal size stem, improving handling. The Farah All Road solves for all of this because of its endurance geometry with shorter reach, flatter head tube angle and also longer wheel base. A big factor for me is not compromise on comfort for long days on the saddle. Farah uses a 27.2 mm rounded seat post that combines with curved drop chain stays and 30 to 32 mm tires makes it very forgiving, a world of difference from my stiff aero road bike with 28 mm. Definitely it makes long days on the saddle more enjoyable. With long ultra races and bikepacking trips, I wanted a bike that can carry a lot efficiently. And as you might have noticed, I'm obsessed with bikepacking bags. So when I saw Farah's total integration system with their own bags, I was like, I need to try it out. They use a very clever magnetic system to attach it to the frame. So you don't need to use straps and it looks super cool. It's very easy to install and they have different sizes that fits the different frame sizes and you also have the possibility to install a front mount for your light and computer and integrated mud guards. For the group set I went for a SRAM RED AXS 2x12 speed as it's very lightweight, also looks pretty awesome and it allows you to customize the shifter so you can still shift from both hands in case of hand issues during races is also fully wireless, which means no cables that can get trapped in bikepacking bags or that can damage. And it's very nice because it's also more aero. I have on my bike the Black Inch 30 medium high wheel set, which is very lightweight, around 1,475 grams. Ideal for races like transcontinental race, because I think there's a lot of Alpine passes, so every ground counts. I have at the moment the Pana Racer Gravel King 32 mm tires on my bike, but normally I use Continental tires around 28 and 32 mm depending on the event. The bike has clearance for up to 35 mm Novi tires and 38 mm slick tires for more adventure riding or bike packing, which is great. Farah is a direct to consumer brand, which means good value for money and also you can bike their bikes ready to ride or you can make it your own bespoke build in the bike builder. In the case of the saddle, I swap it for my try and tested Power Mimic saddle and I have Shimano mountain bike pedals that I also use on road because I like to have shoes with walking thread to go in and out of supermarkets easily and in some cases doing hike a bike during races. 
So, the moment of truth, time to weight the bike. Eight kilos, super light for our all road bike. The Farah is great for mixed terrain and light gravel. Road first, but uh, feels really cool. Every good ride has a coffee break or starts with a good coffee. So today is King's Day and also New Bike Day, my favorite day. I've been testing my new bike, the Farah All Road, and it's great. It's fast, lightweight, nimble, but still stable, and it absorbs a lot of the road bus, especially in the dunes with all the cobbles. It was super comfortable, and today is really sunny, so really nice day to be outside riding. Time for fries with ketchup. You prefer ketchup or mayonnaise? Let me know in the comments below. So far very impressed with the bike, put the first few hundred kilometers on it. I'm very impressed with the handling and comfort. Looking forward to try this beauty in my upcoming race, race around Denmark. And I love the integrated back system, really cool. And also the color, shiny, shiny. Stay tuned for the race, time to test it. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.